there's no doubt we Aussies like to help each other out when times are tough. Eight months after it was ravaged by floods, dozens of young volunteers have come in to help locals get back on their feet. Well, I think that's just true Australia, you know, that's, that's the, these are the young kids that are coming up and you know, that's our future. This is voluntary labour that just comes down here to help us out. It's, it's, it's a real lifting thing. I've got a bit of a buzz to say that they're coming. 40 young Melbourne volunteers are devoting their weekend to charity, renovating a service centre for the homeless. Young people helping other young people in Melbourne has just been awesome. Hello, welcome to Montserrat. My name is Richard Gooden and I'm the chairperson of the Committee of Management for Montserrat and Casa Pilotti. Um, Montserrat in particular um, is has had a number of forms over the years. It's been a, uh, a farmhouse, a seminary, it's been a convent, it's been a, a guest house where families would come and stay and have, um, uh, have holidays. Um, we currently have been building a strong relationship, um, a partnership with MYI, Melbourne Youth Initiative, who are involved in respite camps for children with severe dis disabilities and uh, uh, MYI have an office here and we use Montserrat to provide accommodation for the volunteers when the uh, disability camps uh, uh, are on. Uh, we also use Montserrat for, uh, for uh, as a refuge when there's emergency accommodation required um, and that can be short term long term. The building is a very uh, tired building. Uh, some parts of it are, uh, are 100 years old, other parts are uh, the most modern parts probably 60 years old. Uh, we have a very simple uh, theme here, simple mission, which is to be of service to people, uh, particularly people in need. Uh, and Montserrat has been around for a long time and there's been not just hundreds but thousands of, of individuals who've been been here, stayed here and experienced the spirit of the place. Had a uh, refugee from uh, Eastern Europe um, who had lost his uh, family. Um, they had all been executed and he wasn't finding any peace at all in his life. I don't remember how he came to be with us but he, he ended up being with us and stayed for a, a long time. Uh, the game changer or the difference was that he found acceptance. He found that he could contribute in his own way. Um, and he had his good days and his bad days. But he had the opportunity to rediscover nature, rediscover the spirit that is here um, and to just relate to the beauty of the environment uh, and be with people of similar values. People are actually taking in the surroundings. We've got kilometres of bushwalks. We've got the most magnificent uh, environment. We've got running creeks. We've got wild deer. We've got wallabies. We've, we've got everything here. Having the opportunity uh, to have your organisation come and do um, a considerable amount of work on, on the property is just um, a dream come true. Come along on the 8th of August for a weekend of good food, good fun and good fellowship. We'll be leaving Friday night and returning Sunday afternoon. The cost of the project is $30 and that includes your food, accommodation and a community outreach t-shirt to remember the weekend by. People of all ages and abilities are welcome on the project. However, if you do have any particular trade skills, it would be great if you could let us know prior to the weekend. You can sign up at communityoutreach.org.au. It's a weekend not to be missed.